All right. Why is the slope undefined? So let's take a look at this problem. And um, what we have is a lot of times students come up to me and say, you know, why is it undefined? Why is it not zero? You know, we have a slope. It is going up or down. You know, why? Where are we getting this undefined? Well, a couple things we need to remember about slope, right? What is slope? Slope, remember, is your change in y, which I'll represent with delta, over your change in x. Meaning, how are my y coordinates changing in comparison to how are my x coordinates changing? Well, if you look at my y coordinates, how did they change? Well, from get to here to here, I changed, let's see, from here to zero is one, and then from here to there is, uh, I had to go down four units. So I'm thinking of positive distances here. Um, let's see, the change in that was five, right? The change in y was um, five, all right? And you could say since they're going down, it's negative. It's really irrelevant. But then I say from here to here, how did how much did I change? To go from two, I'm sorry, left and right, two over to two, I didn't move left or right at all, right? So my change was zero. Now let's look at this using the slope formula. If I said m is equal to y2 minus y1, and that's how we find the change. We subtract our y values over x2 minus x1. As I'll say, this is x1, that's y1. All right, so therefore, y2 is negative four minus positive one over two minus two, excuse me, negative five over zero. Something I already showed you, but you guys should know how to use this formula um, and visualize it. So, Here's where we're coming to a problem, all right? Let's work with some issues. Let's do 10 divided by five, five divided by five, and five divided by zero. Or let's do, it's okay, we can do zero divided by five, okay? Um, when, remember when you're doing division, right? What we're saying is, our answer is, five goes into 10 how many times? Two, right? Because what we do is we can rewrite this as a multiplication problem. We can rewrite this as five, sorry, five times two equals 10, right? We can rewrite this one as a multiplication problem. Five times one equals five. We can even rewrite this one as a, a multiplication problem. This one is five, times zero equals zero. However, how can we ever write, and it doesn't matter what's on, what's on the top, but zero times what is gonna give you five? Well, we know that zero times anything is zero. So if you're gonna multiply by zero and try to get some number, that's undefined, all right? You can't multiply by zero by anything to get a number other than zero. So as explained here, five times zero always equals zero. So zero times what is gonna equal five? Undefined, right? So that's why our slope is undefined, okay? I didn't change my x values at all, so I'm trying to divide by zero because it's unchanged. Well, we can't divide by zero, and that's why.